morning, everyone. We're coming to you from inside our <coughs> new Camp Cirrus H20 truck camper, our living room. This is our living room and our dining room and our kitchen. Uh, anyway, today's going to be a different video. A little different. Something today. we've never done. We, when we made the switch from van life to the truck camper, we've had a lot of questions and comments regarding that. And we thought it might be kind of fun to actually just go through some of those and answer some of your questions and concerns you've had. One of the big questions that we got um, and we did kind of address this when we first made the switch is why we made the switch from van life to truck camper life. So and someone wanted to know what the primary reason was. It's multifaceted for sure. And there's, yeah, but I would say that there is one main reason. Yeah. The main reason is we just wanted to try something new. There's <laughs> nothing deeper than that. Um, after six years of being in a van, we knew there's a lot of other things we wanted to experience and yeah, we, um, we loved it. I wouldn't change it. No. Yeah. But, um, like with any RB, each one has its advantages and disadvantages. There, there's nothing perfect out there. Anyone that's lived in a van or, an, or any RV knows that. Um, so you have to decide based on, you know, what your lifestyle is and what how you like to travel do you want to park for a week or a month do you want to go like every day like we sometimes do so we knew it was time for something different i mean we've crossed the continent 14 times in this van we've been to all over 48 states most of them many times and we're getting to see a lot of the same roads yeah again and again we've yeah. crossed canada a couple of times and we're thinking about you know expanding beyond even yeah, what continent. we've done. <clears throat> so there are advantages and disadvantages with the van and the truck camper. And we've we've lived with the advantages of the van for six years. And so we thought, let's let's jump out of, jump into a truck camper and, and experience the advantages that we can get with that. Yeah, and I think a lot of people <clears throat> only think about the disadvantages, like we're giving up this great thing to have something less but i don't see it that way at all i like to look at the advantages of what we had and the advantages of where we're headed you know i don't yeah there's things we have to change and ways to adapt to a new way of living but that's kind of part of the excitement for me is like i like i like change absolutely um some of the concerns were we wouldn't have enough storage or the same amount of storage um and we've we kind of thought that too initially, and we were okay with that. We have a place in Florida that we can store things, and so we don't travel as, with as much stuff as we used to. We can kind of go get stuff if we need it and mm -hmm. leave it when we disappear for eight months. <clears throat> but um, as we've get, gotten more organized, I, I think we have well, we have plenty of storage. Yeah, I plenty. Mean, plenty of storage, and we, we carry quite a bit. And in fact, um, next week's video was we've been talking about the new garage because the van garage was great and the truck camper doesn't have a garage but we still want to carry the the my canoe um and our bikes and my fishing gear and that sort of stuff so we've turned the back seat of the pickup into a garage and i'm actually loving it um it's almost done um so hopefully this that might be the next that video. should be the next I'm video sure, yeah we'll we'll show Probably. what all what all in there but it's so it's i'll talk about more later but it's just easy to access everything and it's um we have as much everything we had in the van garage and more is in the backseat of the pickup and then some of the exterior locking cabinets on yeah. the camper so so far our storage has been awesome um uh, back to the original question though, why we made the switch. Yes, the primary reason is just we wanted to try something different. I feel like life is too short to just experience one thing. Um, one of the other main reasons, and this can be seen as a disadvantage, but to us we see it as an advantage, um, though it is something we had to give thought to, is having the, the cab and the truck separate from the living space. Um, for multiple reasons, that is an advantage. Now, I originally always kind of insisted on being able to get up and go back you know so i can use the potty while we're driving occasionally but honestly when i really evaluated that i did it so rarely that so far it hasn't affected how we travel at all she can't um, help me drive when she's using the bathroom so she just i don't like it. to do that anyway She'll just hold it so she can make sure my driving's uh yeah <laughs> um so the advantages of having the cab separate from the actual camper is twofold really because as the as the truck ages and you get more miles on it 
or if there was something wrong with the camper, you can easily swap out one or the other or have one, um, you know, getting worked on while you use the other one. Um, so it's not just one piece that if something goes wrong, your whole thing is out of commission. Right. Um, and the secondary note to that, I think, is we're noticing so far that without having the cab as part of the living space, you're not fighting those elements of heat and oh, cold been, coming into your living area. It's, um, it's, it's hot Florida right now. We have no fan on, no air conditioner on. We have a couple of these huge windows open and, and it, I'm comfortable in here. Yeah, I'm fine. Um, we, so that we didn't really think about that but that has come <clears throat> forward and we'll do we'll talk about more maybe after six months of being in the truck camper the differences between the two and yes there are definitely some advantages to the van that we don't have now so we'll kind of make note as we go along um because i think that'll be interesting to kind of compare right but yeah so uh, some people were concerned that you know if, if something's happening at night we can't hop into the cab and drive off and it's funny because we actually kind of thought about that we did think like, about oh, that and it, me more than you I yeah think. she's she's always been i really want to have it to where if something's not right we can just get up and drive away and i thought I, 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 i've never really been concerned about that i'm okay with getting, getting up and, and dealing with what i have to and, and taking care of it but also in six plus years we've never had to do that and we're pretty good about not parking in places where I mean, something bad can always happen. Of but, course, yeah. But, but we've <clears> never <throat> had to do that, like drive away in the middle of the night because something sketchy was going on. Well, I, then we'd have to leave all our stuff. <sighs> what stuff? <laughs> oh, like launcher, if we had stuff set up. <laughs> yeah, but in <any> emergency, <clears throat> I mean, you just yeah, go. Yeah. But um, I guess we don't want to make decisions based on fear of something that might happen that never has yet in the six years' time. Um... So for us, after we really thought about it and really walked through that, it wasn't it wasn't something that we should have been basing a decision on. I've had a truck camper before and I've had a camp show before and um, <clears throat> I've never been concerned that I have to be able to, it's like on a tent camp that, you know, can't, yeah. can't drive away in a tent. Yeah, so. there's lots of people tent camping. So, <laughs> so it's just one of those things. That it's it's not... your own personal comfort level. If you're not comfortable with it, this wouldn't be for you. Right. Um, or if you're accustomed to having that option and this freaks you out, it wouldn't be for you. But for us, we kind of talked it through and it, it made sense for us to not base a decision on that. Um, another thing was um, people were concerned about the, the height. and It's a concern of ours too. It's someone just... someone want to know... Someone said we couldn't go through the drive through like we could the van. No, that, we couldn't go through a drive through in the van. <laughs> we, we never go through drive throughs anyway. We no. don't fast food it, but. Well, and um, that is a concern, is the height. Yeah. That's that's a disadvantage. Um, we're, when we had the big fishing kayak and everything on the roof, um, we're about a foot taller now than we were. So we definitely have to be more aware. And mm -hmm. um, there, are, there are so many phone apps and things you can look at that tell you. We haven't gotten in trouble so far, and I'm very good about looking at tree branches. Like, that. that's more of our concern than drive throughs yep. um, tree branches. So we're yep. definitely on the lookout for those all the time. Yep. But that's... so far, we haven't gotten any trouble. No. No. Starlink antenna still up there. Hasn't been ripped off yet. The Starlink antenna is still up there and still working, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> Works great. Um, what else would people concerned or ask questions about? I think I have it on my phone. Oh. Better mileage. Yep, we definitely had better mileage in the. Definitely better mileage in the van. Yeah, it's not a ton more. We haven't checked it a lot. We've been doing a lot of in-town stuff, but yeah. it's it's definitely um, the van is better mileage than what we're getting now. Again, another. It's a trade-off. Another right? trade-off. <clears throat> Some people thought that we talked about going off-road that that this wouldn't be off-road friendly, but. Um, I guess it's your definition of what off-road is. We're not by any means going out four-wheeling. Um, <clears throat> People do though, but I mean, we're not rock climbing in this. We're not going to Moab and no. You know. <clears throat> the main thing is, I just really wanted the clearance. The van yeah. is such minimal clearance that there are so many, especially in the national forest and then like BLM land, especially in the desert southwest. We can get to places in the van, but there's been plenty of times like, boy, I wish I could go down that road. Yeah, or and... we get partway down a road and we're like, we need to turn around now somehow or back out because yeah. up ahead we cannot. We've, we've, we've turned around in the van just because of the unknown. Yeah. And, and we don't, with the four wheel drive for us, 
Um, I'm not going to put it in four wheel drives just so I can get to a location. I'm going to utilize the clearance and my driving skills to get to places. But if something happens, I I have that four wheel drive option to you know assist and get me out of a situation I shouldn't have got into. But yeah. anyway, it's it's that's that was one of the reasons is there's so many. All the traveling we've done, it's it's time to see some of the places that we couldn't see. Yeah. That, that I want to drive into. I mean, and the van got us plenty of places for sure, it, and we pushed it, it, the limits on some of those. We pushed the limit. But we've been we, following us for a while. We've we pushed the limits on both vans, and and how we never tore off the underhood generator or the the extra alternator. Because you were just that good. Yeah. You pick a line. You know what you're doing. I have. I don't. Yeah. So yeah, we're we're excited to. And I even have places in mind when we go back to that. Um, there's a place in Colorado that I just love to go. And we see, you don't see many truck campers on the East Coast, the especially East, in yeah. Florida. Like, if we go to a grocery store, we got p people coming up and wanting to talk about the camper and yeah. look at it because they don't see many. But when you're over in the in the mountains, you always see like... They're the, everywhere. You can see the truck campers over the places that Yeah, we they get go. to go to the fun spots. Uh, another one is um, people... Think it would be too cumbersome to take the camper off the pickup. Oh yeah, that's what I was just thinking about. I forgot. Um, and we've taken this on and off twice, I think. And it is it is scary and sketchy. But I think it's just something that with practice, it's going to be easier now. If we're somewhere for a couple of weeks, you know, visiting someone <laughs> in their driveway, we can drop it. We can go explore. I do. I, I do think when we're in Oregon visiting, like we're parked at your mom's house for a couple of weeks, we can set it down, and and you can lower it down to the ground so we're not climbing up so high and maybe yeah. There. Well, we, we met a. Oh, were you gonna tell? Yeah. Them? Yeah. Go ahead. We met a. We were camped at a state park um, recently, and there was a guy there, and he has the exact same camper, um, and he traveled by himself, and so we wound up talking to him quite a bit, and he said he takes his off and on. All the, all time. the time if he's going to be at the campground for a few days he takes it off quite a bit <clears throat> and he's he's got it down to a science where he just yeah drops it lifts it drives off lowers it down we'll see how it goes we have no idea actually how we're gonna may never take it off we, we might not because it's too convenient <laughs> having everything with you like it's yeah. it's hard to plan ahead if you don't have like our little backpack with us you know and someone asked about, well, some people asked about the cost of like a van versus a, a camper. And it's such a, I mean, there's so many different types of vans, but, yeah. but some of the, the higher end commercial vans today are just, I mean, the, the cost is crazy. In fact, we, I think we could probably buy two brand new pickups like this and two of these campers for the price of some of the vans out there. Yeah. So today. the price definitely is appealing. That's a, that was a benefit for sure. Here's my favorite. Um, a lot of these are from the same person. Yeah. Really nice comment. I, yeah. I, I appreciate these. She, you know, this person really likes our channel, but is confused by our decision. And and they thought, they didn't think this was the case, but they thought maybe it's possible an effort to grab some new audience by doing something controversial. Uh, maybe we would, you know, get new viewers by doing Does something. Does that sound like something we do? <laughs> They said that doesn't sound like something we do, but they were just so perplexed why we did this. Um, we don't do anything to try and get any viewers. <laughs> we love y'all, and anybody who wants to come along and join, it's fantastic, and it's been a, a awesome way to meet new people. Um, but we do not try really. We have fun with it, and you know, the more the merrier type of attitude. But yeah, we're definitely not doing things. Um, we're trying to live our life to do what, yeah. whatever we want to do, we want to do and try not to base decisions on a YouTube channel. We're just going to film what we want to do or we're going to do what we want to do and we'll film it and hopefully come along. If not, then that's okay too. We actually talked about it beforehand. We're like, oh, some people will probably leave because we're no longer doing van life. So we expected, um, you know, a drop, honestly. Um, just like when we um, decided to do some bike packing yeah. this last year, it was... You know, a lot of people didn't watch those videos, but but I don't care because I love those videos. <laughs> we have these videos. I love that we have those time. videos forever. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, that's it's a good question, but yeah, not not why we did it. There's really no deep answer. It's just we wanted yeah. to try something different. One thing I wanted to say is I, I you know we don't 
we don't do research about things. We like to kind of think about it a bit and then jump into things. I think a lot of that reason, a lot of the reason for that is when we first started traveling, which we didn't really know there was such a thing as van life. We just never planned on being full time, but we just started roaming around and and we hadn't traveled much before and we kept stumbling on these things. And that was like the greatest joy for us was mm -hmm. to, oh, look, like the time we wound up at, at the Woodstock area. Yeah, during their 50th anniversary. The 50th anniversary and we just stumbled. Bought like, tickets and went. And we watched was... John Fogarty play at the same place he played 50 years ago to the day, the same yeah. songs. Same um, guitar. He played this with the same guitar, and, you know, and we stumbled across all these things. And I think for us, we enjoy, we may miss things that way. I'm oh, sure we, we do, do, but yeah. we seem to come back around. But as opposed to um, finding, here's all the things you want to go do here and then go and do all the things. Uh, I don't know. It's just our way. It's just not. It's, and it's definitely not for everyone. So these things that we're sharing with you. We're just explaining why we're different than everyone else, yeah, I guess. A little well, stranger. I mean, I don't, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Yeah, <clears throat> some people definitely travel this way and a lot do not. Um, that's just our style. So take it with a grain of salt. Yeah, I think we're off topic. Are we? Yeah, probably. Was there another question? I think um, <clears throat> somebody was saying they sure hope what's next, not a class A. <laughs> I remember that, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, and you know what? You know, you've heard me say this. I never say never. I don't, I don't want to close my door to opportunities that down the road. Yeah, I might don't... be appealing. It's not for us right now, but yeah. I, we know people that do. Oh yeah, and it's it's another. That's definitely one. Is we have some friends that travel in class A's, but they they go to certain areas they love that have things to do that they love to do. They set up camp and they stay a while. Um, if I, I mean, I can see us maybe maybe on a class A. I'd probably more lean in towards like a big fifth wheel, but maybe someday after roaming around, we'll, we'll know. Okay, I want to spend summer here. Yeah. Spring here, fall here, and winter here. It'd be like having four homes somewhere. Exactly. You just take it with you. Yep. I, I definitely see the appeal of that. I so I'm not going to say never. No. That might be next. Yeah, I just want to live my life. Then we'll, have to, then we'll have to do another video explaining why I went to a fifth wheel. We don't have to explain anything, <laughs> but this has been fun, honestly. But I, I, I can't say enough how much we appreciate the comments because we, um, because we do this, Everything seems normal to us. So when people ask questions because they, they they don't understand it, um, it's it's nice to realize. Oh, we we need to talk about this or whatever. Yeah, because... things are normalized that yeah. are probably not normal. Yeah, so I'm like, oh, that's dumb. That like we don't need to share that. People aren't, you know, like. Uh... Yeah, there's nothing normal about our life, but to us, it's very normal and sometimes almost boring. Which I hate to even say that out loud. Yeah, that's and I think we mentioned that before when we talked about from van life to the truck camp not boring but routine routine that's definitely it definitely not boring but mm -hmm. it's just the, the 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 what we've been doing is new and exciting but it's not new and exciting anymore it's just the it's the same type of thing i still love it we kind of know what to expect there so now we're in this what what can we expect i don't know yeah i was even thinking the day that you know one of these days that it's going to be no vehicle for a while We'll put our backpacks on oh and for sure maybe hit the pacific crest trail or the appalachian trail or yeah some maybe, of those others. maybe we'll do the florida trail maybe we also aside from needing a change when we started talking about that we were we were talking about maybe it would be nice to have our home not be our car yeah you know my 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 seat to relax in is a passenger seat of a van and after six years i didn't mind it i actually enjoyed it but i i think I'm really enjoying, we have more space in this camper, which is very surprising how much space we mm -hmm. have in this. And the, the the bed's the same size, but the way that's wider makes it feel like it's huge up there. The other night you could see, was it the moon, Venus, and Jupiter through our skylight? Yeah. And we didn't take any pictures of that, but we should have, sorry. Um, I can't take night pictures. <laughs> no, but to, we're sitting at a table and we never cared about that before. No, but... we always were adamant <clears throat> we don't want a table, so no fault of any van. It's just... Yeah. Uh, life changes we're evolving you know i just want to experience new things and that's one thing that's really interesting is i guess it's not but people change but your the way you want to travel and the way you want to do things evolves and with it's amazing and awesome that we have the ability and you know, yes. to, to be able to do that it's a blessing for sure to do that so yeah i never never take that for granted right
So, so hopefully that answered a few of your questions. If and there's more, there we'll, will be more. We we'll probably won't do videos like this very often. No, but we can stockpile some questions and do that. Yeah. Um, and also, if you're over on Patreon, you know we answer questions over there all the time. So if you have a question, personal question, yeah. Uh, yeah so possibly next week we're trying to get everything together. We can show you our new garage. Will it all fit? It'll be a third will it all fit video. Oh my gosh. Yeah, we'll try to do that. Yeah. So if you go way back with our, with our road trek, we had so much stuff in that. And that was a short Pro Master. Uh -huh. um, we had so much stuff in there and on the roof. And we did a video called Will It All Fit? And we had everything we laid out. Took everything out. There was the, there was the paddle boards and yeah. bikes. Anyway. Guitar. Maybe we'll do that with this. Yeah, we did that in the Vagabond van too. I'm pretty oh, sure. The yeah, the garage. We did the yeah. garage. Yeah. We're rambling again. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, <laughs> I digress. Uh, we'll catch you next week. Carry on. Carry on. Thanks for watching. Join us on Patreon for extra content and all our videos early release and ad free. And check out the children's book that Irene wrote. You can get it on Amazon or if you want an autographed copy, go to our website at carryonvagabond.com. All proceeds go directly to the Green Bean Fund. Thanks again, Ed. Carry on. Carry on.